Well, good day, everyone. Um, I was just tearing apart an old microwave, and I thought I'd do a video um, simply because I've never seen one on YouTube. I'm sure there is one. I've never actually searched because it's not something that I'm interested enough to look up. Because I've had many of these devices apart um, in the past. These devices um, in question are the Hummel Micro Switch. Um, let's see if we can get a close up. It will focus eventually. There we go. Mm, you know, you've seen these things. They can take the form of. It tells you there if I can keep the bloody camera still. Let's get the shine right on the switch. They are normally closed and normally open. So that diagram just, you know, it just tells you. You know, whether it's normally closed or normally open, it's telling me that this one is indeed a normally open uh, micro switch. Now, what's impressive about these switches is that they have the capacity to switch um, 21 amps or a half horsepower motor at 125 or 250 volts AC. It will also switch. 0.6 amp at 125 volts DC or 0.3 amps at 250 volts DC which is actually really impressive um, and you know in case you're wondering so what well just about everything in the home will have well maybe not everything but you know a fair portion of um, electrical goods that you take for granted all the time are going to have a micro switch in it from this microwave oven here you know, got them in the in the um, door switch there. You can hear them clicking away. There'll be a couple. There'll be you know a couple of different lockouts. Um, this stove, when you push in these um, control knobs, it's got a micro switch on this gas valve. Um, so washing machines have them as a lid switch. Some of them use a reed switch, but the micro switches tend to be a lot more reliable, um, as Fisher and Pike will find out the hard way. Uh, most emergency stop buttons use a micro type of switch. Um, you know, it's like a momentary contact, normally open, normally closed, or some type of switch. Um, most start buttons are, are a micro switch, so they're everywhere. So, given that they're so prolific in our modern life, um, and given that, like I said, they can switch, um, you know. 21 amps at 250 volts, which is sounds like a lot of current, but there you go. It definitely says it there. And if you don't believe me, do a close up of that, see if we can get it in focus. And if, if it ever focuses, you might just have to simply take my word for it. There you go. If you look at the top line, it says 21 amps, half horsepower, 125 to 250 volts AC which is very very impressive. It's a huge amount of current for such a tiny switch. So how do they work? This is a normally closed micro switch. Um, see the contacts closed until you hit the button. Very simple way of spring up the top which is that loop. And they're basically very very digital like they don't really have a half sort of you know contact arcing position like you know a light switch you can often get it to arc if you really wanted to this switch um, if the camera is ever going to focus again this switch just is very very clean in its operation so that's the normally closed one if the camera is ever going to focus again that's the normally open one if the camera is ever going to focus, there you go and the switch, these particular switches can be converted to either. So if you wanted to, you could pull the top. Um, it's not actually a contact. It looks like one, but it's not. It's just there to provide distance, the correct spacing. You could pull out the contact and move it up. If I can get the damn camera to focus. So there you go. That's how a micro switch works. It's um, just a very quick video on that. Um, get a better close up, maybe. If it's ever going to focus.
There you go, that's a micro switch. They can switch fairly rapidly as well. Um, very, very reliable, they don't really ever pack up. Um, and then some of these switches, as evidenced by these slots here, you can have a strip of metal that sort of comes across that switch and, and sort of hinged down like that, so you can sort of, it's a bit hard to explain, but yeah, you would have seen them lying around washing machine lid switches use that arrangement. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.